If it's not one thing, it's another. It's been a few things this evening. So we do appreciate your patience. Um, and without any further ado, we're going to start our concert tonight. This first piece, uh, entitled Christmas in Brandenburg, actually features our 8th grade orchestra. So as you can see up here, we have 7th and 8th grade combined this evening. But this first piece is going to feature 8th grade alone.
thank you so much uh, for being such a good audience this evening. This next piece has kind of become somewhat of a, of a tradition with the middle school group. Um, this year, our ordinary or our usual narrator is not available. Mr. Shaw's been such a good sport to come over and do this part for us, but he was unavailable this evening, unfortunately. So yours truly, I'm going to attempt to do this tonight on my own, so I hope I don't mess these kids up in any way. But this is a fun little piece, and we hope it gets you in the holiday spirit, and we just hope all the music tonight touches your heart in some way and helps you celebrate the season along with us.
And then, in a twinkling, I heard on the roof the prancing and pawing of each little hoof. As I drew in my head and was turning around, down the chimney, St. Nicholas came with a bound. He was dressed all in fur from his head to his foot, and his clothes were all tarnished with ashes and soot. A bundle of toys he had flung on his back, and he looked like a peddler just opening his pack. His eyes, how they twinkled. His dimples, how merry. His cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry. His droll little mouth was drawn up like a bow. And the beard on his chin was as white as the snow. The stump of a pipe he held tight in his teeth, and the smoke it encircled his head like a wreath. He had a broad face and a little round belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. He was chubby and plump, a right jolly old elf, and I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. A wink of his eye and a twist of his head soon gave me to know I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word, but went straight to his work, and filled all the stockings, then turned with a jerk, and laying his finger aside of his nose, and giving a nod, up the chimney he rose. He sprang to his sleigh, to his team gave a whistle, and away they all flew like the down of a thistle. Christmas to all, and to all, a good night.